Welcome back to the PAC Sports Network at the half. I'm joined by Junior of the Chatham Cougars, Nasir Alexander. Right. Nasir, thanks for being thanks for being <laughs> with us, of course. And um, well, now we're in year three of Chatham basketball Correct. here. What's it been like to be a part of the very first two years in program basketball history for the men's program? Well, I mean, just like um, the the most obvious answer, obviously, is the opportunity to create something special, to create something new. Um, not many college athletes, not many people get to play college athletics, get to participate in college athletics, and let alone to start something brand new and be an uh, integral part of that is is very exciting for me. But I think just the opportunity to learn and develop myself along with my team, along with my university, because my uh, all three of those facets have been growing and expanding in so many ways. And just to see how that, uh, how myself and my personal thing reflects the school and reflects our team is just kind of cool. And looking at this team, you have five returning starters, same group from your freshman year. Uh, talk about the, the chemistry of the team. Obviously, it has to be so dynamic for the fact that you guys came in as freshmen and now you know, all he you know, headed into your junior seasons now, you're all still playing together. Right. I think the biggest thing was most teams have seniors or juniors or somebody with some experience that can show you the ropes. Our kind of ropes went through just game experience and practice experience and learning what to do with each other and without each other through actual games. And I think that our first two years was a lot of, our first year was a lot of just learning college athletics itself and the difference from high school. And our last year was more of learning how to play with ourselves. That's why we increased our wins and stuff like that. So I think this year is more of solidifying our role as leaders. Um, on the court for not only ourselves but for younger guys because those guys are going to be just as integral part of our continued success as we are. Now you specifically are a guy that the rest of the team kind of feeds off of. You were second on the team in three-point shooting but more than just what you do as far as scoring points. Talk about your role on the team and and really how you impact the uh, the others on the team. Right. I think the big thing about knowing your role is that there's always going to be one guy that does little things or says little things that aren't going to be on stat sheets but are you know vital parts of success and I think I pride myself on being that kind of person that brings a kind of energy intensity and focus not along our you know our cohesive five but along people on front of the bench and people that are coming in playing small amounts of time and even in practice all of those times are just important to winning games and being successful and cultivating our program and I kind of wanted to have that kind of effect that even if I'm not making all of the things I need to do on the books off the books I'm doing just as much as we can to win. You hail from Kissimmee, Florida. Had an opportunity. You were accepted at Central Florida University of Miami, among other schools. Why did you come all the way to Pittsburgh for Chatham University basketball? Um, Well, luckily I was uh, blessed enough to receive um, a full-ride scholarship from here academically, so that made my my choice a lot easier. But I've had those same kind of academic things for those schools. I think just the opportunity to play college basketball at any level and the opportunity for me to know that there's going to be a big opportunity for me to make something special. I think that that experience is vital as much as, you know, great universities like the U- University of Central Florida and University of Miami are just the opportunity for me to have an effect on the university instead of the university having an effect on me. I kind of wanted to take that chance. And you could have been a walk on at any of those other universities, but uh, the Division three experience, it sounds like it suits you quite well. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely that balance of academics, which is, you know, what allowed me to come here, which you know open the door for me to play at this school and then athletics which is obviously what you love you spend time with developing your craft I think that balance for me is just something that I need and that's something that works for me very well following your senior year in high school you played in the Osceola County senior all-star game and won the three-point shooting contest there Tell us about that experience, what that was like for you. Um, I, it was funny because um, my team was lucky enough to go to the state championship that year. Uh, we were state runner-ups. So it was a very successful season. And then just to have that kind of event for us, you know, especially us seniors that, you know, are getting ready to go to college or to different athletic programs or anything like that, just to have that kind of closing and to have that fun, just to, you know, put on what, you know, I've been doing for the whole season for competition, just to have some fun you know, go ahead, you know, shoot the ball. And then I was, you know, had a good day. It was nice enough to win, got that trophy sitting back at home, so. 
Now, obviously, you've had a lot of good days. We mentioned you were second <laughs> on the team last year in three-point shooting. Now, going back to academics, last, last spring you were one of 32 Chatham student-athletes who were named to the PAC Academic Honor Roll. What does it mean to you to be recognized for your success in the classroom as well as what you do on the court? Um, I think it's it's a cool thing because in college there's an award that awards you for basically being a student athlete and I think that is that one reward. There's a lot of athle- you know athletic first team, honorable teams and then there's certain school- university gives you academic rewards and stuff like that but to have the combination of both kind of shows me who I am that I you know I want to excel in both athletics and academics and that award just validates me to know that I'm on the right path to doing so. As we noted, this is the third year now of Chatham men's basketball, and with the steady progression that the team has made in terms of victories each year, what are the expectations amongst the team for this third season? Um, I think that the expectations for us is the the usage of, you know, we're in a brand new program for others might still be there, but I think that we want to, this year we want to eliminate that. We want to, you know, solidify ourselves as a, you know, a PAC you know, we want to obviously shoot for the star, shoot for PAC championships, but the very bare minimum is to improve, be it better than last year. And I think that just that we know what it takes now. We don't have any more of those excuses that we don't know, you know, what teams are like, what we can do and what we can't do. We are, you know, pretty strong in our self-assessment. And I think that as long as we improve and we continue to jump up the ranks like we have every year and jump up the wins like we have every year, I think that'll be a successful season. You're just a junior yet, so you still have another year right. both in the classroom <laughs> and on the basketball court. But um, you're an exercise science major. Tell yes. us about what you hope to do in the future once you do graduate here um, from Chatham. Currently, I'm on a track to do physical therapy. And that um, I just, if I can, possibly, if I can't do that, I would like to do some type of athletic training or something to stay in the athletic realm because I think that the athletics has pushed me to a place to get this far and I think it's going to push me so much further as a motivation for me in class and outside of classroom and I can't really truly see myself without it. So that's kind of the path I'm thinking about right now. That's Chatham Guard and Junior, Nasir Alexander. Nasir, thanks for your right, time and good luck so to you much. and the team the rest of the way. All right. We'll have the second half of today's ballgame when we come back on the PAC Sports Network.